Governor Gordon Obaseki is in another round of battle to retain his seat as the opposition party in the state wants to do everything it can to sack him through the courts. As expected, the election which took place on September 19, 2020 is over, but the struggle for the soul of the oil-rich Edo state is not over as the battle only shifted to another battleground, the courts. With the All Progressive Congress, APC, its chieftains and agents are ready with their weapons in their arsenal to wrestle power in the state. Obaseki is fighting harder to retain his seat after he won the election. Hmm. As the case of certificate forgery against Obaseki progress, progresses in court, the APC presented two fresh documents as evidence to prove its case against the governor. The documents are a University of Ibadan degree certificate which belongs to Professor Emmanuel Dele Balogun and a report by a forensic document examiner, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Rafael Omozilubo. The two were admitted by the courts as evidence against Obaseki as the case against him takes serious dimension. Nobody knows how the case will end. APC may win or Obaseki may win. It is left for the court to decide. The focus on this article is to discuss the three main powerful for, uh, forces that are helping APC with the hope of sacking Obaseki through the court as the case progresses. These forces are very determined to take over the state from Obaseki and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. And the first force, the strong witnesses. These are the various strong witnesses of the APC as called so far to testify against Obaseki in the certificate forgery case. On December 24, 2020, APC called its first witness, Professor Morige Edobo, a professor of law at the University of Benin, who testified against Obaseki, a situation where a professor of law in a top university is a witness to testify in a court against somebody is definitely a strong witness. Also, on December 29, 2020, APC presented a degree certificate belonging to Professor Emmanuel Dele and a forensic report by Assistant Superintendent of Police, Rafael Onwuzuligbo, as evidence against Obaseki. All these are strong witnesses as they will testify against Obaseki in this case and the documents have been admitted by the court. In fact, it appears APC still has more strong witnesses to call to testify against Obaseki in the coming days as the case progresses. The second force is APC chieftains and members. These are the main people that want to remove Obaseki from office and make their party take over power in a state. Here, you have former national chairman of APC, Adams Ushumole II. When he was still the APC national chairman, he was the first person that raised the accusation of certificate forgery against Obaseki and set up committee to investigate it. The committees reported back to him and he relied on their report to disqualify Obaseki from contesting under the APC. Ushumole will help the APC through in this case and supply all the needed information to his party with the hope of sacking Obaseki. Again, Mr. Williams Edobo is another person to mention. He teamed up with the APC to drag Obaseki to court over the certificate forgery. He will work with the other APC chieftains and members with the aim of helping his party win Obaseki in the case. And the task force and uh, the the APC candidate and his backers. Osage Ezeyamu has been gunning to become the governor of Edo State since this year he was backed by powerful forces to win, losing the election when he felt he had the right people that could help him to win. Came to him as a rock root shock. Now that there is a ray of hope that he could become the governor if Obaseki is sacked through the court, Ezeyamu will not hesitate to take advantage of this golden opportunity. He will work with his party, the party chieftains, including Oshomole, Edobo, and his main backers to do everything to ensure that they sack Obaseki through the court. If that happens, Ezeyamu will be the ultimate beneficiary of the struggle because he will go on to become the governor as he has always wished. The stake is set for the legal battle. 
Obaseki should get ready to fight off these powerful forces and retain his seats. He can only achieve this feat if he provides enough evidence to prove that the allegations against him is false. Then the courts can then rule that his certificate is valid and he will remain his seat or retain his seat and may get compensation from his accusers. If Obaseki fails to prove this, then he may as well lose his seat to the APC. Okay. Of course, these are the people who are who are bent on that he must leave. So just like the, the writer said, so whatever that comes out at the end of the day, they will take it. Uh huh. All of them. They don't help anybody. All of them. They don't help anybody. But the only thing is that let the court, the judiciary, let them do the right thing because. In Nigeria, the more you look, the less you see. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. All of them want the power, but what they, are they going to do with the power? That is where the problem lies. You are right. This writer and his followers is totally mad. He see not in the country where University of Ibado testify that Obaseki passed out in their institution and INEC accepted what, and as he's accepted it, what's your problems? You want emo situation supreme Court governor, hmm. it is finished. Exercise in futility. Professor of law or a degree certificate belonging to or a forensic report where the the ones or institutions that issue the certificates were they the one that issued the certificates? Hmm. Okay, just like I said, let the court do the right thing because all of this in a back and forth. Eh? At the end of the day, what do they have? Are they trying to get justice or they just want to push somebody so that they will be there? Uh huh. That's just all they want. Well, is it not the same certificate he used to govern under APC? How did it now turn to be to a forged certificate because he is no longer under APC? Obasek said uh, Obaseki never told him he do, he never had certificate. You can you can imagine that kind of talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obaseki never told him. PDP accept Obaseki because of money. I can still recall how Dan or uh, raised the alarm of certificate forgery in 2016. With this case, I don't think the governor will survive this. Okay, T PDP accepts uh, him because of uh, money. PDP know that Obaseki's certificate is invalid. So does it mean APC did not know that it was invalid, but they supported because they were, uh, they are the ruling party. Or Obaseki or Oshomole, you know, was the incumbent governor. They were together. That is it. That is the progress. That is the most annoying thing, you know, of all of this. If we are looking at, okay, whether the certificate is genuine or not, let the court decide. But the question is that we need to we need to separate ourselves. But unfortunately, some people will not do that. For people that, if they are condoning evil, they won't speak out. But once they feel that the person is no longer with them, they'll begin to speak out. So do those kind of people, do they really have integrity? All of them, PDP and APC. So it is only the court that will settle this whole thing. And if the court will settle it, we just have to, you know, pray. Not really, it's pray now because prayer, because anything can happen. Like I said, anything can happen as far as this case is concerned. Because in this, in, it is in this country that you see that uh, the ones that are guilty, they give them justice. And the ones that are supposed to get the justice, they are being put behind by, they are being uh, chased out. That is how they have been rolling. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know what you think about this.